All right, sisters fans, hope everybody's doing well. Um, this kind of is um, almost like a combination theory video about Zach and Andy. And no, I'm not talking about them hooking up, but uh, both of them in being caught in compromising positions. But uh, here's the thing. Before we get forward in the video, let's try to get to 200 likes on this one. Y'all have been really blowing some of these videos up. Uh, by hitting the like button, it shows YouTube that they need to promote the video more. So that's why I always say hit that thumbs up button. Also hit subscribe as we get closer and closer to 200,000 subscribers. Hit the bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel. Uh, we're getting to the point where we could potentially reach at least 50% of subscribed users watching my content as opposed to you know over 60 percent who are not subscribed and finally follow me on social media links are in the description below now the reason i'm kind of putting aaron and her secret rendezvous with robin together with zach is the fact that robin stated that hey if you need me i'm going to be staying at the carlisle hotel and then in the next episode we know that he plans to ask andy out to dinner so we can discuss the settlement between their clients and if i remember correctly tony with an i t-o-n-i i believe that's the name of the woman who gave zach that stock information and given the fact that zach put what was it twenty thousand dollars in the bank and that pretty much confirms what some fans were telling me. It's like, Jeremy, that money that Zach gave for Tima, he got it back because she did tape it to the door. So I completely forgot about that. So he gave the 5000 to Karen, you know, of the 77000 that he owed her. So she got five. That's why that 25000 is now 20000 He deposited all of it in the bank with Maurice but left 100 in the account to avoid it being closed. So $19,900 was sent into those stocks, which plummeted and Zach lost big. So with that being said, you know Zach is going to go back to the hotel pissed the hell off about the bad information that she, he got from Tony. Now, as a result, there are a couple things that could happen here because of the fact that, you know, Andy and Fatima were supposed to have a lunch together. And I mean, during that lunch, you know, they may have brought up the fact that, you know what? Hey, Andy, me and Zach stayed together last night. And then Andy would be like, ooh. But then again, it's like, you know, now she's going to meet up with uh, Robin. And I know I'm kind of stretching it here a bit because it's like if Andy knows that Robin staying at the Carlisle Hotel. Why would she go to the hotel to meet him unless they're having dinner at the hotel at the dining room area as opposed to going out to have dinner? I don't know for sure. However, there's also the possibility that, you know, Andy has a good time at dinner and goes to the hotel with Robin and then sees Zach there. And, you know, he's in a huff because, you know, he's mad about losing all that money. So he confronts Tony now. I don't know, maybe Andy and Robin go to his room and they just so happen to be on the same floor as where Tony's staying. So she might see Zach going in or out of a hotel room. I feel like whatever the case is, Andy's going to be doing something she shouldn't be doing in terms of her quote unquote engagement where it's like, I'm not telling Gary what I'm doing. I'm going to have dinner with this guy without him knowing it. So that's kind of like her way of getting back at him for being secretive secretive and whatnot about the phone and whatnot. So I feel like in the midst of her own deception, she's going to catch Zach in a compromising position when he's not doing anything shady. Well, in regards to Fatima, in terms of stock information, yes, but in terms of Fatima, no. And it, it's kind of crazy because if Zach would have opened that account with the money, which I'm not saying he should have done it or taken that money to begin with, he could have at least said, well, dang, at least I didn't lose my money. I lost that woman's money, but then she could probably flip it on him and then that'll lead to a whole nother, you know, um, situation of legal, unfortunate events for Zach. But I think that overall, Zach is going to end up confronting Tony about that money and then Andy's going to catch him and then she'll probably bring that to Fatima and then she's going to have yet another reason to be pissed off at him for the wrong reason. And keep in mind, I just finished a video about Karen not confirming with Pam that she did not sleep with Zach the night before, hence why she's happy today. And she told Pam not to tell people that she was sleeping with Zach, but you know, Pam's going to do what Pam's going to do. So I feel like if nothing else, this is just going to cause an even bigger rift between Zach and Fatima 
when it comes to these women not minding their own business. So, also, talking about Zach being broke, it's unfortunate because he really should have invested that money into a place of his own to stay. Now he's pretty much back to square one where he has to work. And I mean, he was still going to work with chain breakers, but who's to say something won't happen that will get get him kicked out or something, you know? It's just one of those things where he can get in some trouble, and this time Fatima might not bail him out. I don't know. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think there's some weight, but, um, you know, weight, <clears throat> excuse me, behind my theory involving Zach going to the Carlisle Hotel again and at the same time running into Andy? Uh, so with that being said, if you want to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App. And with that being said, I'll talk to you soon.